The DSM-5 officially defines anorexia nervosa as an inability to maintain a healthy body weight for one's age, sex, developmental trajectory, or physical health. This is accompanied by an intense fear of weight gain or obsessive behavior to prevent it. Anorexia nervosa affects around 0.4% of the Western population, with Canadian women being 10 times more likely to develop anorexia nervosa than men. However, in children, anorexia nervosa affects males more often. Unfortunately, anorexia nervosa in men and ethnic minorities is often not diagnosed because they are not seen as traditional candidates for the disorder. Using twin studies, it has been determined that anorexia nervosa has a genetic component alongside environmental components. Environmental factors can lead to epigenetic changes that can change gene expression without altering the DNA sequence. These epigenetic changes may also lead to anorexia nervosa. Individuals with a genetic predisposition to developing anorexia nervosa may be at higher risk when undergoing hormonal changes associated with puberty or facing stressful situations such as leaving home. Personality traits may also play a role in the development of anorexia nervosa. For instance, people with anorexia nervosa tend to be extremely anxious, depressed, obsessive, and highly sensitive to how others perceive them. Furthermore, people with anorexia nervosa are usually self-disciplined, conscientious, and avoid taking risks. The pressure to fit in with the body ideals imposed by society also play a role in the development of anorexia nervosa in adolescence. Models and athletes face a higher pressure to achieve these ideals than the general public, causing higher rates of eating disorders. Moreover, early exposure to family members who have an eating disorder may put children at risk to unhealthy eating behaviors. Anorexia nervosa is accompanied by numerous symptoms. A coarse psychological feature of the disorder is becoming obsessed with one's shape and weight. To satisfy their obsession with remaining thin, an individual will often engage in body checking which includes repeatedly weighing and measuring oneself. Individuals with anorexia nervosa have an increased ability to withstand extreme self-imposed weight loss, whether it's through food restriction, over-exercise, or overactivity to burn calories such as finding opportunities to stand rather than sit. Often, patients will justify their actions by convincing themselves that their behaviors are their choice rather than the symptoms of a disorder. Occasionally, the weight loss associated with anorexia nervosa can go unnoticed, so it is important to identify other features associated with the disorder such as depression, obsessive behavior, infertility, or amenorrhea which is the abnormal presence of menstruation. Other long-term symptoms include bone thinning, mild anemia, heart damage, brain damage, and multi-organ failure. Anorexia nervosa can be divided into two types, the restricting type and the binge eating slash purging type. Individuals with the restricting type restrict their overall food intake. Restricting behavior may take the form of counting calories, skipping meals, and removing certain foods such as carbohydrates from the diet. Often, they will even follow certain rules such as only eating foods of a certain color. Similarly, individuals with the binge eating slash purging type of anorexia nervosa restrict their diet but also experience episodes of binging and or purging wherein they eat large amounts of food. To compensate, the individual will then purge the food in multiple ways such as self-induced vomiting or misusing laxatives. Anorexia nervosa can be emotionally draining. However, there are many effects detrimental to physical health as well. For instance, the esophagus, which is the tube in which food passes from your mouth to your stomach, may be negatively affected. Due to the severe self-induced vomiting associated with anorexia, tears in the lining of the esophagus may form, causing gastrointestinal bleeding. This condition is referred to as Mallory Weiss syndrome. Although these tears may heal without the need of treatment, if they are severe, surgical repair may be necessary. Symptoms of Mallory Weiss syndrome may include abdominal pain, vomiting blood that is either red or coffee ground in appearance, and bloody or black stool. Acute gastric dilation is a rare complication of the binge slash purge subtype of anorexia nervosa. Malnutrition associated with anorexia nervosa weakens the muscles of the GI tract leading to an overall slower movement of food and other substances. This delays the process of removing waste when the individual eats. Typically, patients with this condition have an onset of sharp, severe abdominal pain 
and then abnormal enlargement of the abdomen, accompanied by an inability to vomit. If left untreated, it can lead to the death of gastric tissue, decreased blood flow to organs, or rupturing of the stomach due to the weakened muscles of the stomach. Emergency surgery is thus required as it could lead to death. Sialidinosis or sialosis is a non-inflammatory disease that causes swelling of the salivary glands which can be painful. A potential treatment to reduce salivary gland enlargement is through oral administration of pilocarpine hydrochloride drops. Gastroparesis is a disease of the muscles of the stomach. It often affects nerves controlling these muscles such as the vagus nerve, preventing the muscles from functioning properly. As mentioned earlier, malnutrition in individuals with anorexia nervosa can cause muscle loss in the digestive system. Thus, when these muscles stop functioning, the stomach does not grind or empty food into the intestine properly. Symptoms include nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. Gastroparesis can be treated using drugs that prevent nausea and vomiting and induce the proper functioning of the muscles of the stomach. There are many treatment options available to patients of anorexia nervosa, but some are more suitable for certain age groups. For instance, for children, family therapy is the best option, while for older patients, psychotherapy and cognitive-based therapy would be most effective. One such treatment is family-based therapy, wherein clinicians encourage parents to focus on improving the eating behaviors of their malnourished child. Family-based therapy has been investigated thoroughly in children and adolescents who have had anorexia nervosa for less than 3 years. The treatment takes place over 6 to 12 months and consists of 15 to 20 sessions over the course of one year. Family-based therapy takes into account the integral role of a child's environment, which plays a role in anorexia nervosa recovery by including the family in the patient's plan of care. Family-based therapy has been shown to be quite effective with 65-80% to 80 of adolescents returning to their healthy weight. Another option is psychotherapy, which focuses on alleviating obsessions with weight and eliminating food-related anxiety. It includes discussion of healthy eating behaviors that will not interfere with daily life. Alternatively, patients can choose to undergo cognitive behavioral therapy, which uses techniques rooted in theories about cognition, behavior, and emotion. It focuses on removing negative thinking and adjusting maladaptive behavior. Cognitive behavioral therapy is also considered the most effective therapy. If you want to learn more about eating disorders or are looking for ways to get help, there are many services available for you, including the following. 